Is there any iterations you're thinking of doing given what you've learned so far? I've got so many ideas. It's about thinking about it from our customer's perspective. Yeah. If I think about our customer, the internal people in the organization are very different. You've got the marketing side of the business and you've got the technology side are usually the two big ones we deal with. They've got very different operating methods. The IT guys, they deal with technology like a CFO deals with money. It's control and governance. It yes. can't go down, it's production supported. So so they've got all of these restrictions and their agility and how they do digital transformation. Yes. The marketing guys, they need the technology to work for them to deliver more value and do their actual jobs. They need to work closely with the IT guys and there's just this constant fight between them. That's where we bridge the gap and help them work together. It's definitely not easy. But depending on the role I'm playing in the transformation, I have a very different view of the world. Yes. I'm the BA on the client side on the project versus the PM on the client side. That's two different bits of information that I need to be aware of. If I'm the CMO versus the CIO, if I'm the IT manager that has to adopt this new Salesforce into my ITSM process and have ITIL around it and raise tickets to partners, that's a lot of change of how they work. If I were to have an app, my Salesforce transformation app, yes. what would that look like for each of those humans? What would it give me? How would it nudge me? Hey, Robin, you haven't completed your user stories yet for the product that you own. You need to do that. Do you want to know how to write a user story? Imagine ChatGPT tied with that. Right now, the problem with transformations is the IT manager, he's upset with his job, his wife left him, he's got sleep issues, he comes to work, he's just trying to get his job done. Someone's forcing new things down his face. You've got to go on this training course, you've got to be excited about this. If you're not excited, maybe you should leave. This poor guy, how do we make it more empathetic to him to go through that process where he doesn't have the fear of job loss, he doesn't have that discouraging feeling of failure when you don't get it right the first time. All all of those humans need to go through that path yes. as a salesforce partner how do i touch those people in the right way and right now it's very manual we have a buddy system where we try and tie up a person on our side with a person on their side to coach and mentor them because yes. it's so emotional and it's so perception based what is the perception of success for you. A lot of people will think it's failed even if it's been awesome because they've never gone through it before. That was hard. We should never do that again. No, that was really good. You should see what other people do. I love the fact that you're bringing that into your model because ultimately it's all about change, right? The system part of it's normally the easy bit. It's the people side of it, which is hard.